Welcome, it's Pet Pals TV, and Mabel and I hope you're having a great summer. We have a brand new show for you today, Medical Mutts. These are dogs that can be trained to detect seizures, cancer, all kinds of different things. They need the right training though, and you need the right personality on the dog. We'll find out more with Adam Dunn. And a pig who paints. Jason Heath has that story. Also, she's a self-declared nerdy girl, and finds some pets that are all dressed up. Gee, who would do that? More coming up on Pet Pals TV. Give a little love. Give a little more this time. Give a little love. If you give everything, I'll be fine. Give a little love. It'll come back if you just try. It'll feel right. Give a little love. As we're getting into the summer months and the heat, we have some hot stories for you as well. This first one is Adam Dunn, and he went to visit uh, Jennifer Cote. She runs an organization called Medical Mutts. They train specific dogs to do things to help humans, like to detect a seizure before it happens. How does that happen, Adam? Hi, Patty. I know you know how amazing dogs are, but it's amazing that dogs like these two could possibly tell us if we're gonna have a seizure. We have been working with dogs using smell for seizures and diabetes as well as other conditions for, for quite some time now. I'm a consultant for service dog organizations in Europe and in the course of one of my workshops over there I met a young woman who was doing her dissertation, her PhD dissertation on seizures and she was very interested in the process and the training and how we how we teach the dog to use scent to alert to seizures. With her team, they collected the samples in a medical facility. So these were patients who were having seizures, who were being um, you know, recorded on EEGs for their seizure activity, and they collected the samples right during or after a seizure. She sent samples over to medical mutts to test the dogs. Jennifer will send the footage back of the dogs grabbing the scent for further scientific review. Medical Mutts train each of their dogs to have a good nose for a particular smell we release when a seizure is oncoming. We teach the dogs that this specific smell has a, has a value, has a meaning. Things happen when they smell this. And so we pair that smell with something that they really like, with a really, really good treat. And we teach them to find that smell amongst other smells. So we present them a number of cans, um, and that's what we did in the study. They, they had one can that had the scent of a person during a seizure, and the other cans had the scents of the same person at different, different times of, of the day when they were not having a seizure. Many service dog organizations, it, it has been difficult to train service dogs for seizure, especially seizure, seizure alert. So most service dog organizations will train dogs for re seizure response, meaning a person has a seizure and that's the cue for the dog to do something, get help, uh, lay down next to the person, help the person avoid injury. But what we're doing with smell is teach the dog that, hey, whenever you smell this, it means the person's gonna have a seizure and we need you to, to do X, Y, Z behavior to let them know. These behaviors include nudging or poking someone with their noses if they pick something up. These are people with different types of seizures, which is also very different because at this point, there was a lot of thought about, you know, maybe certain types of seizures had a smell, but not others. Well, we had uh, uh, different types of seizures in our seizure samples in our cans and the dogs made abs absolutely no difference between a person who might have had an absent seizure or a person who had a grand mal seizure. The abilities of the dog's nose and keen mind are their most useful tool when helping someone who really needs assistance. Without their help, this discovery would not have been found. You know, we didn't come up with that. The dogs showed us they could do it. And for years, the dogs have been alerting people to their seizures. It just wasn't consistent, and it was really hard to train. So some organizations, what they did is place dogs with volunteers who had seizures and looked at which dogs picked them up, and then they were able to develop the seizures from there. But we didn't really have a method by which we could teach any dog you know, how to alert to a seizure. So that, that's why this is groundbreaking. But at the court, we, didn't, we really didn't come up with anything. It's the dogs that were there to show us that they could do it. 
For Pet Pals TV, I'm Adam Dunn. Cosmo Superior Foods, based in Carmel, has been a labor of love since 2012. <laughs> Your pet will never tire of the highest quality chicken, salmon, and beef treats. Cosmo Superior Foods is human grade, healthy, ultra superior pet treats. From our family to yours, it's Cosmo Superior Foods. Yay! What brings you to the zoo this morning? Their energy's like this, but ours is like this. It's like this weird counter effect thing. Team Slug! Join your team. Get tickets now at IndieZoo.com. Two things keep me young, my grandkids and my doctors. I have diabetes, and Eskenazi Health helps me manage it. I can go somewhere else, but I choose to stay there. I like the staff. I can always depend on them, and my family can always depend on me. At Eskenazi Health, our expertise is unrivaled, and our compassion is genuine. I am more than my six decades. I am Levita. I know you're busy. Life is hectic. So when you can't be there, bring us to Camp Bow Wow. All day play and overnight camp, daycare and boarding for dogs. With large play areas, spacious cabins, comfy cots, even live camper cams, Camp Bow Wow offers the best care and is the place to go where a dog can be a dog. It's good to be a dog. Camp Bow Wow Lawrence. Where a dog can be a dog. Imagine if you could just relax instead of worrying about what trouble your pets are getting into. Invisible Fence Brand now offers indoor and outdoor solutions customized for your pets to help them avoid bad behaviors that stress you out. Guaranteed. Call or go online today. And here we are. This is Sean Litke. He is the founder and the owner of Cosmo Superior Foods. Ultra Superior Pet Treats. Look at this. When did you start this? Uh, 2012. Seven years ago, where did you start this? Uh, in my basement. In his basement. <laughs> and now you have this fabulous company, and it's not that big, but it's very neat. Thank you. How many employees do you have? Uh, we just hired our sixth. <gasps> Wonderful, so you're expanding. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, these treats are all natural, so tell us about it, how they're made, and what's in them. Actually, there's only one ingredient in each right, thing. Right. Tell me about it. Uh, everything here is one ingredient, um, and we use the highest quality things that we can find. So, for example, in our salmon, instead of using the cheapest Atlantic salmon possible, we use uh, wild sockeye. I'm reading the back. All natural skin and coat support. Mega-3 fatty acids among natural ingredients supports the heart, kidneys, brain, and overall immune system. Right. So nothing is added to any of the stuff to provide a health benefit. It's all naturally provided by the raw material. Uh -huh. uh, where do you get the foods? Uh, they come from various sources. They're all U.S. Um, the fish is all wild caught out of the Pacific Northwest. The chicken is uh, either from the Midwest or North or South Carolina. Same with the hearts and the feet. Look at that. Uh, These are the chicken jerky. Yep. And and I always say, whether it's a people food or a pet food, you should be able to see and read the ingredients and know what it is. Absolutely. There's nothing added to this. Nothing. H how are they made? Some of them are dehydrated, some of them are freeze-dried. So uh, in dehydration, it's basically uh, warm air being passed over the product. In freeze-dry, it's frozen solid, and then the moisture sucked out of it in the form of ice crystals, basically leaving uh, a raw product without the moisture. All natural. Let me see. This is good for joint health and mobility as well. So good for them, good for you. Natural glucosamine, chondroitin, collagen. Wow. Uh, higher amounts than most uh, synthetic supplements. So This is better than lots of drugs. This is better than lots of other things. And uh, I, I can tell you I use them. So there you go. My, per my Stewie and Mabel endorsement right there. You also do for pets for um, kitties too? Yeah, they love the salmon. Actually, some people send me videos of their giant cats eating the hearts too, so. So for your kitty and your doggy, and you can even chew on it. You, actually, this you could. I mean, not that you would, but. I've eaten plenty. It's, it's not, it's safe for you. Absolutely. You ship too, right? Everywhere. You ship all over? Everywhere. Everywhere, he says. How do they get a hold of you? Uh, our website, cosmosuperior.com. Uh, we're in all pet people stores across the states um, and a handful of stores in the Indianapolis area as well. Okay. So anybody can get you at any time. Yep. You're up 24 hours a day. Pretty much. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, I, I'm a big fan. Uh, I think it's wonderful. And this is the way to go. This is the trend we're looking for, too, for people and for pets. More natural is the better way to go. How long do these treats last as well? Uh, 18 to 20 months. Really? Mm -hmm. Sold. Okay. Cosmos Superior Foods. Give him a jingle on your uh, computer and check it out. And I can tell you I personally recommend these. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. We'll be back with more on Pet Pals TV. It's time you want to become a member. Go to PetPalsTV.com right now. You'll get some cute furry video stories sent straight to your inbox. Who needs actors? We can do this. We're better looking anyway. Well, you're half right. Look, if you've been injured, call us, the Garrison Law Firm, to talk about it. Or just walk in on Wednesday. No appointment, no charge. Raise it up. A little higher. That's it. Perfect. At Legacy, we're celebrating 11 years in business with 30% off Anderson and Pella windows and doors. And save up to $7,500 on our all-season rooms. There's never been a better time to build that dream room. For a free estimate, call us or book online. For more than 35 years, Noah's Animal Hospitals have proudly supported local rescues and shelters. From keeping pets in our clinics when shelters are full, to offering on-site veterinary support at community events, we truly care about all pets, even those without a home. When looking for veterinary care for your own pet, remember Noah's Animal Hospitals, putting the needs of the pet and the pet's family first. With eight Central Indiana locations, including three emergency clinics, there's a Noah's Animal Hospital ready to be the best friend of your best friend. And you, ma'am, what brings you to the zoo this morning? The Black Mamba is why I'm Team Snake. In size, speed, venom. It's the total package. Team Snake! Join your team. Get tickets now at IndieZoo.com. What brings you to the zoo this morning? You know, we are Team Sloth, obviously. I think they're just that slow so you can take in all of the cuteness. <laughs> Team Sloth! Join your team. Get tickets now at IndieZoo.com. I'm Kelsey Burton from Pause and Think with Pipsqueak. Pause and Think is a nonprofit volunteer organization whose mission is improving lives through the human dog connection, servicing children and adults with disabilities and special needs. For more information, contact Kelsey at pauseandthink.org. I call it walk in Wednesdays. Not hop, skip, or jump, but walk in Wednesdays, huh? Exactly. If you've been injured, stop by on a Wednesday. No appointment, no charge. Walk in Wednesdays. It's a great idea. The only kind I had, brother. You know how we like to show you stories that have nice endings and give us a positive outlook. Jason Heath recently talked to someone who had, who found a pig in a slaughterhouse. Hold on here. Rescued it, and now this pig has become a famous painter. Here's Picasso. Welcome to Farm Sanctuary South Africa, home of Picasso, just about the only painting pig on the planet. Farm owner Joanne Lefson says she stumbled upon Picasso when the piglet was only six months old. So I needed to go and bring in some rescue, rescue some farm animals to bring them to the sanctuary and manage on a Sunday afternoon to, to manage to get to baby piglets out of that facility um, and brought them to Farm Sanctuary. So how did Joanne discover that her little piggy was bursting with artistic talent? I threw in many things into a stall, as I mentioned, and um, she literally destroyed everything. And for some reason, she just took a knack for these paintbrushes. Um, it was the only thing she didn't eat, um, totally destroy. And I thought, gosh, that's really strange that these brushes are the only things that she's interested in sort of nurturing. And so it was with really just a, um, an interest in her like for these brushes that I decided to sort of encourage her to play with them more and um, and through positive reinforcement, it didn't take long before she was actually picking them up and walking towards a canvas that I placed in her stall. And, um, and I always say dancing these brushes across the canvas and creating these incredible artworks which are now sold all over the world. Picasso really brings home the bacon. Her paintings have a price tag of up to $5,000. She even has her own brand of Swatch Watch. I'm, I'm trying to keep up. She doesn't paint that many, so I'm trying to keep up with the demand at the moment, which is quite challenging because Picasso likes to sleep most of the day. But um, my favorite one, um, um, I actually love 
dogs, specifically shelter dogs, and she did a, a, a one that looked a lot like Snoopy. Her most expensive one she actually sold to a collector in Los Angeles uh, for five and a half thousand dollars. One that she did off-site, and she's huge, so it's very difficult to take her off-site. And she actually went to the Table Mountain Nature Reserve and painted our famous Table Mountain, which is a one of the seven natural wonders of the world. It's more than just money. Joanne says Picasso is teaching a valuable lesson about showing compassion to animals. Funds go, the proceeds go to Farm Sanctuary SA, so it helps us to grow this organization. And most importantly, to sort of market her as an intelligent, creative, interesting, amazing living farm animal that's, that's, that hopefully inspires people to look at them a lot differently. And not to hog the show, but if you want to see more Picasso artwork, go to PetPalsTV.com. Jason Heath, Pet Pals TV. Welcome back to Mutt Manners. I'm Kathy Underwood. Today, we're talking about loose leash walking. Mike? Welcome back to Mutt Manners. Today we're talking about loose leash walking. And one of the things that we need to do is we need to make sure that we walk our dogs on a standard leash. Uh, too many times we walk our dogs on a retractable leash and the dog never really learns where their boundary is. So use a standard leash, that way the dog always knows whether they, they are two feet, three feet, or four feet away from you, okay? Then the next thing we wanna do is we want to reward them for good walking. So the way we do that is when the dog pulls, we stop and turn around and go the other way until we get a, a back a little bit, and then we go turn around and start going forward again. Now, is that gonna look funny? Absolutely, but it really does help. And then lastly, when they walk nicely with you, praise them, give them a reward. The reward just, all it has to be is good dog, good dog, good fluffy. So, I'm Mike Underwood with Camp Bow Wow. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Mike. And for more information, contact your local certified trainer. I'm Kathy Underwood for Pet Pals TV. More stories coming up, all brand new, coming up on Pet Pals TV. I know you're busy. Life is hectic. So when you can't be there, bring us to Camp Bow Wow. All day play and overnight camp, daycare and boarding for dogs. With large play areas, spacious cabins, comfy cots, even live camper cams, Camp Bow Wow offers the best care and is the place to go where a dog can be a dog. It's good to be a dog. Camp Bow Wow Lawrence. Where a dog can be a dog. Hey guys, come on in. The dog party is in the lower level. Mom just got all new pet friendly floors from Boat, Carpet One, and Fisher. It's our license to chill and spill. Oh, uh, won't we get in trouble? Oh man, everything just gets wiped up. Hey, dog parties are fun. I wish I had these floors from Boat at my house. All oh, man, parties at my house until you get pet friendly floors from Boat. Stop in to vote for our extensive line of family and pet friendly products. Where worry free is our style. Two things keep me young, my grandkids and my doctors. I have diabetes and Eskenazi Health helps me manage it. I can go somewhere else, but I choose to stay there. I like the staff. I can always depend on them and my family can always depend on me. At Eskenazi Health, our expertise is unrivaled and our compassion is genuine. I am more than my six decades. I am Levita. For more than 35 years, Noah's Animal Hospitals have proudly supported local rescues and shelters. From keeping pets in our clinics when shelters are full, to offering on-site veterinary support at community events, we truly care about all pets, even those without a home. When looking for veterinary care for your own pet, remember Noah's Animal Hospitals, putting the needs of the pet and the pet's family first. With eight Central Indiana locations, including three emergency clinics, there's a Noah's Animal Hospital ready to be the best friend of your best friend. Pet Pals TV, and when you're looking for a home or an apartment or a condo, you want to make sure it's pet friendly. We have a new person with us. She's our pet realtor. Her name is Cindy, and she loves her pets. She can help you find the perfect place for your home with your pets. 
She's an amazingly successful, high-profile, much-sought-after realtor for F.C. Tucker. Cynthia Yosher Schneider enjoys her lifestyle and working with people looking for the perfect home. But she also has expanded her profession to become an expert on placing prospective home buyers in houses and communities that love pets. These are my pets, Patty. This is Minnie. She's a Morky. And this is Ella, and she's a cockapoo. And I adore them. There's nothing better than coming home to pets <laughs> and having them love you unconditionally. Oh, and you've had doggies all your life? I've always had dogs. My dad always brought home a dog. We always had one. Um, there was only a very short period of time with the dog prior to Ella that I did not, did not. have a dog until I said, I can't take it anymore. I need <laughs> another dog. So, oh. love them. How, and how old are they? Ella is 14. Ella? And Minnie is 6. <gasps> oh, so. well, they're well taken care of and well loved. And you have a beautiful home here. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And, and this is their home as well. You want to help other people get the right home if they have a pet. That's a big consideration. No matter where you live, you need to move into a community and a house that's good for your pet, right? Absolutely. What do you look for? Definitely people are looking for fences or the ability to put in a fence um, and making certain that their pets are very well secure in their home and that they are not running away and putting themselves in danger. And we all want that. So I have quite a few clients who ask specifically for a fence. Okay. And some communities will let you have a fence and some won't. So Correct. you need to check that out too. Absolutely. Um, and sometimes the other thing that my clients are looking for is walkability for their pets. How oh. can they get some place? They like to go to the coffee shop. They still want to take their pets with them. And so like they like the ability to get to places that mm -hmm. their pets can join them as well. Uh, what about for, for rentals? Do you work on that as well? I do sometimes some sometimes, rentals. Okay. And some rentals allow pets and some do not. There's sometimes an extra fee that goes along with that. And there's also some communities that limit how many pets you can have. So this is my career after being a stay-at-home mom and a volunteer. Um, I volunteered around the city and for any place that my children were, I tried to be a part of that and help out the other people who were part of their community. So let's 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 do an overview here. You you would advise someone if they're if they're moving a realtor is a really good choice. Of course, to call you is a good choice, especially if you have a pet, right? Absolutely. It's always good to have an expert who's on your side helping your needs. So um, if the, your needs include your pets, then absolutely you should call someone who can help you to make certain that you're moving to the right place. So as the saying goes, home is where the heart is, but it's also where your pets feel safe and secure. Cynthia is your pet realtor. It's time you want to become a member. Go to PetPalsTV.com right now. You'll get some cute furry video stories sent straight to your inbox. Cosmo Superior Foods, based in Carmel, has been a labor of love since 2012. <laughs> your pet will never tire of the highest quality chicken, salmon, and beef treats. Cosmo Superior Foods is human grade, healthy, ultra superior pet treats. From our family to yours, it's Cosmo Superior Foods. Yay! Life is loud, and you've not missed one noisy minute, but you're hearing. Well, all that living has done a little damage. That's why a CapTel phone may be for you. At home and at work, a CapTel phone from Relay Indiana allows you to read what your caller is saying. The sleek tablet style phone means no more disruptive non-private speaker calls or high volume distortion. Learn more about this free service at RelayIndiana.com. Hey you ma'am, what brings you to the zoo this morning? Look, it's as simple as this. The rattlesnake has fangs up to four inches long. You gotta be Team Snake. Team Snake! Join your team. Get tickets now at IndieZoo.com. At Legacy, we're celebrating 11 years in business with 30% off Anderson and Pella windows and doors. And save up to $7,500 on our all-season rooms. There's never been a better time to build that dream room. For a free estimate, call us or book online. 
I'm Kelsey Burton from Pause and Think with Pipsqueak. Pause and Think is a nonprofit volunteer organization whose mission is improving lives through the human dog connection, servicing children and adults with disabilities and special needs. For more information, contact Kelsey at pauseandthink.org. Imagine if you could just relax instead of worrying about what trouble your pets are getting into. Invisible Fence Brand now offers indoor and outdoor solutions customized for your pets to help them avoid bad behaviors that stress you out. Guaranteed. Call or go online today. And she's our kitty correspondent. She's also a self-declared nerdy girl. So this is a perfect combination for her. KJ, KJ on the air. What'd you find out, KJ? PopCon is all about celebrating superheroes in pop culture. So Grayson and I decided to come to their pet event to find out how these pets are superheroes in real life. <laughs> This is Fred the Skunk, and he was named in honor of my father who passed away about a year and a half ago. My dad was Fred, and we had a baby skunk uh, growing up. It was his Father's Day present. Fred helps me um, kind of keep mom and dad close to my heart all the time. Does he sleep with you? Sometimes. Poppy is wearing a um soccer outfit from Brazil, and it's actually from Brazil, on a trip that we had. Um, my son was stationed there in Brazil for about three years, and so this was one of the souvenirs. So, you know what, I'm the therapist, and she's my therapist when I get home. <laughs> she's got enough work to do at home. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> the best part, I come home at midnight, 1 a.m. or 5 a.m., and I have this cute little puppy that just loves me so much. And now he's four years old, and he's my baby boy. I'm not sure I'm ever going to have children because I got this one. I mean, how can you get cuter than this, right? She's just been the most wonderful thing, a, a wonderful addition to our family. The kids love her. She's so sweet. And it just gives us something to look forward to every day. To Take answer your question, she has healing powers. Her superpower is healing. Yes. yes. It, it's amazing how you uh, figure out that uh, the pets that you uh, have lost don't really leave your heart. Your heart just gets bigger and bigger as, as you add more and more pets to your life. That's right, yes, exactly. absolutely. Go to PetPalsTV.com now and send us photos of your pet dressed as a superhero. We may use them on TV. I'm KJ, the kitty correspondent for Pet Pals TV. That's it. Are you bored already? That's it. We say we, 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 we hope you had a good day and you have a nice Pet Pals day, okay? I'm going to leave you with some pictures of Gus. Gus is a therapy dog at Eskenazi Hospital. He helps the patients. He helps the staff because we know what doggies can do. We'll see you next time on Pet Pals TV. Give it